Boom. Like, comment, subscribe. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, just got a shower over here. Flying J in, uh, is that Lehman? Lyman? Colorado. And figured let me check their food display there. You know, they usually have all that gross, nasty ass fried food. Oh, there we go, better. Which they had some of it putrid pizza and uh, stale ass corn dogs and stuff. But I was hoping, I was hoping to see some, uh, one of those, you know, chicken leg and uh, thigh deals that they have there. Just peel the, I think it's got skin on it, but peel the skin off. And, you know, obviously I could only eat a little bit, but it's baked. It's not submerged in grease, but they never have that. Why? Because people don't eat healthy on the road. They eat fried crap. Trying to eat healthy, I'm actually eating healthy. Problem is, is I'm just not eating enough. I don't think. Ah, uh, let's see. There she is in all her glory. Got the support our troop trailers. Trailer, I guess. Um, still no deer guard. Still no deer guard. This whack ass parking job. Yeah, that's straight. Who in the hell parked this truck? Melissa. Uh, we deliver today um, at uh, 1500. We're 83 miles away from delivery. It's uh, 925, so we're plenty of time. Melissa just ran in to get her shower and uh, get ready, and then it's her drive shift. I drove out my drive shift. Tired. Tired. But I thought I'd pop on anyways and say, hey, now, what's happening? Um, now, I know I ain't been right in a while. You guys probably noticed that. I've been short videos, no lives, just kind of existing. And I'd like to say, well, yeah, it's because I'm wasting away to nothing. I mean, look at me. I'm skin turning into just a big skin and bones. But that's not the case. That's 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 just a physical change. But uh, I do freak out when, like this morning, or when I went in and looked in the mirror to take a shower or shave and whatever I was doing in there, and I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, damn, man, my face is looking drawn out. A couple more pounds and knock my teeth out and you won't know me from a meth addict. But, uh, but yeah, pounds are falling off. I think I got 40 to go. 40 to go. Actually, I should say tw between 20 and 40 to go because my goal weight was between 220 and 200. And last weight was 242, so that was a week ago, so I've already lost a couple more pounds. So I'm getting close to my goal weight, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my weight when I was first married of 130 pounds. How about that? No, I think I was 135 pounds. My leg weighs more than 135 pounds. Oh man, but I'm I'm burnt. I was gonna sit on here for a while, chit chat about uh, things, but I'm, I'm I'm actually tired. Hey, you know what? Let's check. Let's test out this. We got a couple of uh, Mountie Downies here. We got one over there, one over there, and uh, yeah, you know what? That worked out good. Look, hands free. Hands free. Hopefully you can hear me, not that fan going over here on this uh, inverter dealing with bobber. Um, damn tired, man. What, I 
I, I can't even think straight. I keep looking in the mirror thinking that's Melissa coming. Uh, but it's a pole back there. Good stuff right here, boys and girls. Protein. What's it called? Protein 2O. It's protein water. 15 grams. Zero grams of sugar. Um, strawberry banana flavor. Tastes good, too. Yeah. Uh, but we don't, uh, I don't have home time for another month. It, yeah, another month I'll be out here before home time. So that kind of sucks. I think I'm just all over the board. I think I gotta, I think I gotta do this when I'm more awake and can think straight. Because I actually started the video and I had something I wanted to talk about. I completely, completely forgot what it was. I know I definitely got it. I definitely need to do a video about where I'm at in this lease purchase and how it's feeling and whatnot. Uh, and talk about a little bit of that and how I feel since I've been brought back to Prime since I came back uh, after being off for almost two months, going from a lease to a lease purchase. Um, I'll tell you one of the things just real quick here, one of the things that were kind of shocking when I came back is fuel prices probably doubled by from when I left to when I came back. Um, the fuel surcharges were way up there when I came back. It seems like rates are were down a little bit, maybe stable. I think they're down a little bit. It's hard to tell because those fuel the, the fuel surcharge is up so high, makes it look like oh boy the rates went up. You know, for instance, a load that I take from point A to point B, I I do that load a lot. I know that load pays about twenty three hundred dollars total fuel surcharge, line haul, everything from point A to point B within a few dollars because you know fuel surcharge would move up and down well when I came back it was paying $3,600 was that right hold on yeah it's a uh, so 24 34 yeah $3,600 just paying $3,600 there is uh, uh, 12 or $1,200 more in fuel surcharge for that load and so it makes you think, oh, okay, cool. Um, everything's going to be fine and dandy, you know. You look at how much money you're making. Well, when I did the math and I took, and I did apples to apples, it was paying about what it paid before. So that load seemed okay. Freight didn't really go down, didn't go up or anything. It's just that surcharge made it look like it went way up. And then, of course... The other mind fuck you're gonna get in a, a a situation like this, guys. Think about this, you lease drivers. Your revenues say ten thousand dollars, right? And you're like, damn, hell yeah, I made bank, man. I couldn't make this six months ago. It's only you know five, six thousand dollars. Now I'm pulling in ten G's. But why am I only? Why am I taking home the same amount of money, if not a little less? Well, that's where the mind fuck comes into place. Is being you got such a high fuel surcharge, it makes it look like every load's paying a whole lot more money. And uh, so when you actually go to get paid and you don't make that big money, you think, okay, normally I'd take in six grand, I'd take home three, th you know, I'd gross six, take home three. Now I gross 10, how come I only took home three? What the hell? Well, that's where it gets you in your mind. You think I work so much harder to make that more money, but yet I didn't get to keep any of it. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed that. Some of you guys may not have. Um, the guys who this high fuel prices are really, really saving is you guys who run 57 mile an hour. You slow pokes on the road there, no offense, you guys are, you are making the money right now because the better fuel mileage you get when you got a high fuel surcharge like this, the more money you keep in your pocket because it's just the way it is, just the way it works out. I can go into the science and nuts and berries on it, but a lot of you guys, your heads would explode. I mean, I'd get a nosebleed every time I start explaining it, but you guys, you guys who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. 
you run fuel mileage in the uh, high high price of fuel and fuel surcharge game, you make more money than uh, guys who are going to run as fast as they can and screw fuel mileage. Um, even though they got that bigger fuel surcharge, they're not keeping any of it. Well, these guys are doing some weird stuff over there. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm going to leave you at that. I, I, I really need to put myself to bed and, you know, get this brain shut down. Because I'm starting to talk about fuel surcharge and all this baloney. And you know what that's going to do? It's going to turn me into a freaking babbling lunatic here in a minute. And nobody wants to know about fuel surcharge and my thoughts on that. And my th you guys don't even want to know my thoughts on trucking, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's be real. You guys come to this channel to see what kind of train wreck I'm going to be or who I'm going to rag on or whatnot, which I don't rag on anybody, actually. Josh, Josh, clickbait, clickbait. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You got to keep those arms and legs in the damn window. I'm just goofing on you, man. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Got to get that pee, pee cam ready. A lot of you guys are going, what the hell are you talking about? But Josh knows what I'm talking about. Lucas knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Josh probably don't watch this channel, so Lucas, you need to tell Josh. Lucas, you need to tell Josh on his next video that he needs to get his PP cam ready because I'm, I'm coming. I'm getting ready to, getting ready to do another reaction. 